Hi there guys and welcome to another video. So, do you want to set up your own open source, self-hosted chat server? You do? Okay, let's get started. Hey there guys, so where have you all been? Okay, I know, it's me who's been away really, not you. My tank was feeling really empty and I just needed to take a couple of weeks to recharge my batteries and get my tank full again. And this video, we're going to look at installing, uh, what's it called again? Oh yeah, Rocket Chat. So just what is Rocket Chat? So you may have used Discord or Slack before. Well, it's kind of like those, but open source and you can host it on your own server. So it's a great fit for people who want to privately host their own chat service. But to get this running, there's a few things that we need. Firstly, we need to have our own domain name because it's through this domain name that we're gonna to connect to our chat service. And because we're using a domain name, then we're going to have to have a reverse proxy on our server. And in this video, I'm gonna be using Linux server's excellent Let's Encrypt container. Now you can use another reverse proxy if you want, of course, but to follow along with this tutorial, I'm only going to be showing how to do it through the Let's Encrypt container. Now, if you don't have a reverse proxy already set up, then you can see my video here on how to do that. So once you've got your reverse proxy set up on the server and you've got your own domain name with a subdomain pointing to the IP address of your server, then we can make a start getting this all set up. But for Rocket Chat to work, it's dependent on using a database. And Rocket Chat needs a MongoDB database container to be installed as well, so it can use that. So that's where we're going to start, setting up the database. Okay, so here we are on the Unraid server. So I'm going to go across to the Apps tab here. But before I download and search for the container, we're going to have to create a configuration file which the container is going to use. So to do that, we're going to need to open the terminal window into the Unraid server. And we can do that by clicking the terminal button here or by SSHing into the server. So once you have a terminal window into the server, we're going to make the app data directory. So to do that, I'm going to type mkdir space forward slash mnt forward slash user forward slash app data and then mongodb. Okay, so now I'm going to move inside of that directory. So for that, I'm going to type cd space forward slash mnt forward slash user forward slash app data forward slash mongodb. Okay, so now we're into the app data folder and now I'm going to type nano space mongod.conf and then I'm going to hit enter. So here we can create the configuration file. Now in the description for this video, you're going to find a file which has all of the commands that you're going to need and all of the text that you need to paste in. So I'm going to paste that in here and here's the configuration file done. So now I'm going to press Ctrl and O to write this file and enter and Ctrl and X. Okay, so let's minimize this now. And now we can search for MongoDB and click on the downward arrow to install. Now I'm going to toggle across from basic view onto advanced view now because there's a few special things we need to add to the template. Now the first thing under extra parameters, we need to specify the host name for the container. Now this is important because if the host name for the database changes, it will break Rocket Chat. So by specifying the host name here, which we do by typing dash dash host name and space and the name that we want to call it. You can call it anything, but I'm just going to call my Mongo database. And then next underneath, under post arguments, we're going to specify that file that we just made a moment ago. So we're going to put in here hyphen f space forward slash data forward slash db forward slash mongod.conf. Okay, so that's all we need to do. So now let's click apply to pull down the container. And done. Okay, so now let's go to the Docker tab. So now the container's running. So let's click onto it and go to console. And that brings us to a command prompt inside of the container. Now I'm just gonna type host name, just to check that the host name's correct, what I set in the template. Yep, that's fine, so that's good. Now next I'm gonna type mongo and enter. Now next I'm going to type rs.initiate and then open brackets, close brackets and hit enter. Now you'll see here it says secondary, hit enter again and now it will say primary. 
So now just type in use space admin. You can see here it says switch to DB admin. So now we're going to create a root user here. And so paste in from the description this command here. But just here where the password is, you need to change that for a password of your choosing. Now for this video, I'm just going to use a real simple password, Rocket Chat. But you might want to make yours a bit stronger. And hit enter. Now I'm going to create a user called Rocket Chat. Exactly the same, paste in the command, change the password, and hit enter. Now we're going to switch database and type use Rocket Chat. You can see here it says switch to DB Rocket Chat. And again, we're going to create a user here, and we're going to change the password, and hit enter. Okay, so now just type quit. Sorry, exit. And then we can close this window and that's the database all set up. So now I'm going to stop the database and I'm going to go back to the terminal window in Unraid and I'm going to edit that configuration file again. And now we want to scroll down until we see this bit here, security, get rid of the hashtag. And then after security here, the colon, just hit enter. And Control and O to write out, enter then Control and X to exit. Okay, so now we're ready to install the Rocket Chat container. So back to the Apps tab, and we're gonna type in Rocket. Okay, there's Rocket Chat there. And again, click to install. Okay, so these first two parts here, we leave as they are. But here for the Mongo URL, we're gonna delete this, and again, paste from the description. And you can see here, here's the user that we made. The password, we need to change that to the password that we made earlier. And that's why I kept everything simple just using Rocket Chat so I didn't forget. And then here where it says at and then your IP, well your IP is the IP address of the server. And you can see here for me, mine is 10.10.20.199. So I'm going to put that in there where it says your IP. So now what I've got is mongodb colon forward slash forward slash Rocket Chat colon and then the password Rocket Chat at 10.10.20.199 then colon 27017 which is the port number that MongoDB runs on and then just forward slash rocket chat. Now the next part here, the rocket chat URL. Now this is where we want to put our subdomain that we're going to be using for rocket chat. So I'm going to delete this out here and type HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash then rocket chat dot and then whatever your domain is yourdomain.com. Now obviously you don't type yourdomain.com, you type in what your domain is. Now we need to add one more variable. So we're gonna click on here, add another port path variable label or device. And we're gonna change here to variable. And we're gonna make another variable, which is called mongo underscore oplog underscore URL. And for that you wanna paste in from the description, the value here, and you can see again, We've got mongodb colon forward slash forward slash rocket chat. And here it says password, we need to put our password. And again, where it says your IP, we put in the local IP address of the server. And everything else just stays the same. So click on to add. Okay, so before pulling down the container, because in a moment we're going to be using the Let's Encrypt reverse proxy, I'm going to change network type here from bridge to proxy net. Okay, so click on apply to pull down the container and click done. Okay, so let's go back to the Docker tab here. Okay, and you can see here that the rocket chat is stopped because it can't connect to the database. Okay, so I just need to start the database and I'm gonna have a quick look at the log file. And we can see here, it says it's successfully connected to Mongo database and then the port number. That's the host name that we created earlier. So now I can start up rocket chat now, when you first start up Rocket Chat for the first time, it may take a little while, but once it's all running, if you click onto the log file here, then you should see that the replica set's enabled and everything's running. Okay, so let's close this log and now go to the web UI. Okay, so here we just fill in our name and choose a username. And here you put in your email address. Obviously that's not a real one. And then a password. Okay, so this will set up our administration account. Just click on to continue. And then we need to fill in this page here. And then click on to continue. 
Here we can put the site name. We can choose our language and the server type. We can choose whether we want two-factor authentication here. I'm going to set no and then click continue. Now here we've got two options. We can either register the server using the pre-configured gateways that Rocket Chat provide. This is what I'm going to do. Um, if you don't and you keep it standalone, then you're going to have to do a bit more work like recompiling the mobile apps. But for me, this is absolutely fine. So I'm going to click on I agree and continue. And you can see here, it says the server link here. This would be what our domain name is. Now, obviously, when you set up the template, you'd have put the correct domain name in. Now, one thing to note is once you've set it up in the template and you started the container for the first time, then that name's set. You can't change it in the template later and that will change. Okay, so that's the admin account all set up. So now let's click on go to your workspace. Okay, so this brings us to the home screen. And if we click here, we can go to our administration panel. And this is where we can really customize Rocket Chat. Now, I'm not gonna really go through much here at all. It's way beyond the scope of this video. There's some pretty cool things here, such as apps. If you click view marketplace, all these different apps can be installed into Rocket Chat. So once you set everything up, have a good look here and go through all of the options and set it to how you want it to be. But now obviously to use the chat server, we need it to go through our reverse proxy. So that's what we're gonna do now. So obviously you need your subdomain to be pointing to the IP address of your server. And that's not the local IP address, but the WAN IP. Now, many of us, we won't have a static IP address. So we can just point the domain to something like DuckDNS, a dynamic IP tracker. And also you're gonna to have to create a certificate for the subdomain. Now with Let's Encrypt, you add the subdomains in here. Now you can see here that I'm using a wildcard, which is good for any subdomain. So I need one certificate. But to do that, you have to use DNS verification, which I'm doing here. And I'm running that through Cloudflare. Now that's one reason I really do like this Let's Encrypt container, that it allows you to use wildcard and DNS verification. And if you want to see how to set that up yourself, then check out my video here. But if you're not using a wildcard certificate, then don't forget to add your subdomain to the Let's Encrypt template. Okay, so now we want to add the proxy configuration file to Let's Encrypt. So let's stop the container and you'll find the proxy configuration file in the description of this video. So download it to your desktop and let's have a quick look inside of it. Now here is where you put the subdomain. By default, it's just pointing to Rocket Chat and there's nothing else here you need to change. So just copy the file and go to your app data, then let's encrypt, nginx, proxy confs, and just paste the file into here. Okay, so that's done. So now we can go back to the web UI and start up let's encrypt. Now remember, make sure you've got your rocket chat on ProxyNet or the same custom network that you have let's encrypt on. So now with let's encrypt container restarted, we can access rocket chat securely through our subdomain. Okay, so here we are at the login screen. So that's how you set up Rocket Chat. Now, before I wrap up this video, I'm just going to show a problem that some people who've set up Rocket Chat in the past have when they update the database container. Now, here you can see that there's an update for MongoDB available. And if before updating the container, let's just have a look at Rocket Chat. Well, it's all working how it should. So now let's stop the container and then update the database container. And with that done, if we now start up Rocket Chat, then we find it's not going to work. Now this happens if you haven't set a host name for the database container, because when the database is first created, it uses the host name to create the database. And every time you recreate a container, then the host name will change unless that was set manually. So what can you do if you already have Rocket Chat running, but when you first set up Rocket Chat, you didn't set a host name for the database? Well, there is a workaround that we can do, but you must do this before you update the container. So what you want to do is just open up a terminal window into the database container and find out what the existing host name is at present. So just type in host name, and then here we can see the host name of the container. So just copy that, so with the host name copied, just edit the template and go down to extra parameters and add the host name now. So now when the database container is recreated, it's gonna have the same host name as what it did before. 
So obviously for this fix to work, the Rocket Chat still got to be working itself. This fix is just for people who have installed Rocket Chat before and then disabled the updates on both containers. But for you guys who have installed Rocket Chat before and done an update and now it's broken, then unfortunately this fix won't work for you. You'll just have to install Rocket Chat following this guide, setting the hostname for the MongoDB container before you go and create the database. Okay, so I'm going to wrap it up there and that's the end of the video. Now, I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then help me out and hit up that like button, share the video with anyone else who you think might like it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I want to thank the people who make these videos possible. A big thank you to all of my patrons and supporters out there. Thank you very much, guys, for your support. It's you guys who make it possible for me to better do these videos. Anyway, it's getting late here, guys, so it's time for me to go. But whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good, and I'll catch you in the next video.